Hey everyone. So yeah, I'm, I got a little bit upset and a little bit... How to say, Foodie Beauty pisses me off, but... She doesn't harm anyone except, yeah, her vibes and a lot of people that are... Voluntary victims, you can say it like that. But these old men that I've seen... The YouTube lets them all have a channel and... I don't know there should be regulations like I know Facebook and people have put Facebook down no privacy <coughs> they are using your data they are using this and that but I'm sorry on Facebook really hardly you see any pornography or something wrong with children or crimes you know they get taken down immediately because Facebook does have a team of people that they're just paid to look at every clip and once they see or get a report they take it down immediately so good on good on Facebook which I'm not a fan of but I use everybody uses it but credit to them for that what's the what's YouTube doing what the hell is YouTube doing everybody gets a chance doesn't matter what your topic is except if you do a very violent crime it gets taken down we've had many other uh youtubers with channels they got taken down because they would fake uh Tourette syndrome or being in a wheelchair i've seen stuff like that and yeah their channel got taken down and so that is the right way to do so but then again you had i have a i'm going to post the link of my video where i made a a clip about a show that I like to watch, best food review show ever. Really nice, you know, it's like the guy started it, I forgot his name, and hired 15 employees, so it's like a team and it's professional and it's nice. And uh, YouTube decided to demonetize him because uh, some people found the foods of certain cultures offensive. So there they react, but then when you show old men with women that are 40 years younger and even saying how they're abusing the American system by living off social security and, and spending it in another country and making YouTube money, with that they don't close their eyes? Wow, wow. And Foodie Beauty with her lies and her scams and abusing uh, YouTube viewers, wow. My question is that I know YouTube, I don't know, I'm just, I've just learned about it during the pandemic, but I know that YouTube makes money through commercials. So, who the hell would put a commercial, not just on Foodie Beauty's channel, but on these men with the young women? How, how is YouTube making money off these channels? Because nobody would want to associate with those kind of topics because they're unethical, unmoral, and just simply disgusting. If somebody has some information about this, please write me a comment and uh, clarify it to me. I hope everybody's doing well. Peace.